Welcome back. We have Chad Price joining us from United Floors. Uh, we're talking today, Chad, about something that's been very popular in recent years, and that is click together vinyl tiles and planks. So welcome back to the show. Thank you. Yes. What does this all mean, click together? It sounds like Lego, but it's not so Lego. It's, uh, most people are very familiar with laminates. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a floating floor. There's a locking system, clicks together, floats. Um, this is basically the same idea, except it's, it's vinyl. This is... Um, this would be kind of the second generation, I would say. First generation didn't do as well. Um, but this, this, this stuff is, is great. Um, the, the biggest thing is the, the core material that they're using mm -hmm. is far more stable. Um, so what does that mean? Well, basically the old stuff, if you had a lot of sunlight um, and it's, you know, it's a tiny little click system on there. So a lot of heat and it would shrink. The locking system wasn't strong enough to hold it all together. Oh, really? Bottom line, the new stuff, the the core material they're using, extremely stable, so it stays tight and okay. looks exactly like the day you put it in. So first generation, it actually started deteriorating and breaking apart it on people's just, floors? The, the joints would come apart and okay. you'd have gaps everywhere. And okay. Yeah, it, All didn't, right. it didn't do so well. Yeah. yeah. And so th this is obviously very durable. Like, what are you talking about in terms of lifespan if you're looking at investing in this stuff? Um, oh, it would be, uh, most of them do have a, uh, like, 20 to 30 year residential right. uh, wear warranty, as well as like some of them have uh, 10, 15 year commercial warranties mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. So it can it can go into commercial space mm -hmm. easily. How popular is this stuff? Extremely popular. Yeah, it's the probably the one category that's just really, really taking off. It probably has the most growth in the last, yeah, like you said, mm -hmm. probably year, two, three years. Sure. Like that, and so. how, did, how do you sort of charge for this? By the plank, by the foot? How does it work? Uh, per square foot. Per square, square foot. And yeah. is this something anyone can do? You have to have a little bit of know-how, certainly when it comes to edging around the corners. But um, Yeah, anybody can do that. The um, Again, as a click-together floating floor, it is super popular with the, the do-it-yourselfers. Sure. The one thing I would say is kind of a common misconception with floating floors is that you can just lay it over anything. Right. You can have a rough, beat-up old subfloor and just go right over top. Um, I would say that is incorrect. We, we still need it to be fairly level. We don't need perfectly smooth, um, but it does need to be fairly level. Let's take a, for example, like, say you've got a, a bit of a dip in the floor, mm -hmm. and so there's some, there's some movement. Well, this joint, again, it's still not ultra, ultra strong. So with enough movement there, eventually it's, it's going to pull wear and apart. Pull. So, um, How do you prevent that? Are we talking about a good subfloor? Are we talking about what? Um, you can use self-leveling. Self-leveling, um, okay. Sometimes resheating will help, although most people opt out of resheating because it is more expensive, mm -hmm. and that's the nice thing about a floating floor. But we still have to be a little bit careful. It doesn't just go over everything sure. and hide the multitude of sins because sure. it, it, it can come up and bite you. multitude of sins, indeed. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at some fairly neutral colors here, but I'm assuming this comes in a variety of different colors, hey? Yeah, dark light, yeah. grays, browns, uh, tile patterns as well. If you you know you want to do a bathroom and you don't want a wood look in your bathroom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, those are available as well. Right, we're talking about that uh, just before the commercial break uh, ended. Uh, you can buy this in tile. Now, how good does it look? It looks pretty good. Um, it's still a vinyl floor. Yes. Um, nothing beats the ceramic tile. Mm -hmm. There is also the glue down versions that you can grout, and when that's done, it it looks pretty much exactly like a, like a ceramic floor. Awesome, okay. Yeah. Anything else people should know about this if they're looking for the do-it-yourselfers or looking for a spring project in the next couple of months? Anything else you would get them to think about before coming in? Um, well, one really nice thing about it, it's completely waterproof. Nice. So again, let's say a worst case scenario, you flood your kitchen, dishwasher blows a line, it leaks everywhere. Technically, you could unclick your entire floor, dry out your substrate, and then click it all back Reuse down it. again. Yeah. Fantastic, and quite a warranty on these. Yes. Good to know, United Flooring is uh, where you could go, United Floors, to find out a little bit more about this if you want to check out what they have in stock. And the good folks like Chad have the knowledge and the information to help you make a good decision. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, information on the screen, you can actually check them out on Facebook as well. You can go online to unitedfloors.ca. Phone number as well, 374-1223. Back in two minutes, stay with us.